Hello everybody, it's Christine Bertram and I am coming to you live from the Hive on Tuesday. It's August 23rd. <laughs> had to make sure I had the right week. <laughs> I think one time I was two weeks behind when I looked at the calendar. <laughs> so it is, I believe, Tuesday, August 23rd. And I have a little bit of a September card class showcase coming up for you guys. Uh, so you'll want to make sure you have your pen and paper handy for jotting down some notes. I'm also going to do this in conjunction with a Tip Tuesday. And uh, thanks to Anna Rebidu, she gave me an idea for um, doing for a Tip Tuesday. And then I used it right in a card that I used for a class. So woohoo! Hi, Barb Baylor. So we have a lot to go over and I, I, I'm going to let you in on a little clue. I don't just have September ready. I actually have some October and a November class ready to share with you guys. So for those that are new to me, I don't ever try to overwhelm. <laughs> I have heard that I have that effect on people. Hi, <laughs> Sue Somerville. It's all fun and games until somebody gets overwhelmed, right? <laughs> but I think when you learn about me, I try to fit a lot into a schedule. Hi, Doris. Hi, Jean. And so once you figure out um, that I just offer a lot of classes, and I think that's what is can be confusing for people. So I started doing this showcase um, hi, Donna Gruski. I started doing this showcase maybe a good year ago, um, starting to um, have all of my cards for the upcoming classes for the next month done before the that next month starts. Hi, Kathy King and Mary Hartman. Um, having everything designed so that um, you guys can see everything. Um, I talk about the stamp sets that are used, what colors are used. Hi, Becky Schlossnagel. And then that can help you plan for, oh yeah, I wanna take that class or nope, I'm good. I, I'm good with a different one, right? Um, hi, Carmen Melendez. Hi, Donna Simmer from Vancouver, Canada. Uh, so I do this, hi, Anna Rebidu, to show you guys what's coming up, not to overwhelm. And I always advise, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. Hi, Bonnie Shinky, Shinkle. <laughs> I just went to the eye doctor, you guys. Hi, Sherry Martin. Um, and he says my prescription hasn't changed since 2020. But I feel like I hit that 40-year-old mark and the eyesight of seeing where my phone is, I don't see I's and L's very well or the R's and the P's. <laughs> so sometimes I have to squint. But yeah, it's like deal with it or get new glasses. And getting new glasses is like a few hundred dollars, right? <laughs> so I might squint for a little bit. Hi, Debbie Schultz. Um, so I do this so you guys can get an idea what's coming up. So um, just know that if you ever are uncertain about something, I have a phone number. You can reach me. Hi, Kay Warren. Um, you can text me. You can call me. I have a Facebook profile page. You can instant message me. Uh, you can also email me. And when I flip down the screen, you'll see my contact information. So if you are new to me and watching this, uh, the best way is just to reach out and ask me questions. I'm readily available. I might not call you back the instant that you call me, but I try to get back to people in a very timely manner. I do have things going on outside of my stamping world, so I don't always have the phone right next to me, but I do try to get back to people as fast as I can. Uh, so um, the main thing, hi, Philly Sinto. Um, Chris had just messaged me, so I was looking at it. Um, the main thing is that people ask, well, how do I get signed up for your classes? Hi, Linda Kester. And the main thing is that um, I get you on my list. You guys, I, believe it or not, am a people person. <laughs> not a people person. I am a people person. A paper person is what I meant to say. And I keep things, like, I keep track of stuff like this. You guys, this is my whole schedule that I keep track of. Through This is my whole year, right? So if I lost this, I will never take it on a canoeing trip. <laughs> I do leave yours back. I, this is like my holy grail, right? So people ask, well, how do I get signed up for a class? Do I have to do it through your website? Do I have to do it like a different way? You know what? Honestly, you just have to tell me you want to take a class. And I put your name in a spot for that class. And then we figure out, well, do you have to pay for it? Or do you want to place an order to get it for free? And we just go step by step, right? Until you get to the point where you're like, you send me a list, like, a few people just say, hey, this is what I want to take. Tell me how much I owe. And then they send me payment. And that works perfectly fine too. In some cases, 
I have a few people that say, I want every class that you have, make a list of what it is, tell me how much you owe, and then they send the money. And I have somebody that might take a class only once every three, to uh, three months, right? So everybody's different and I work with everybody in a unique kind of way. So, so that's a, like a little for the newbies that maybe don't know who I am or have ever taken a class with me. Um, hi, Lynn Beasley. Hi, Elaine Reback. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick and easy tip Tuesday. Thank you to Anna Rebidu for putting this in my inbox. So she's like, hey, you should talk about this. And I'm like, I think I have. And she's like, no, you haven't. And I'm like, oh, you're right. I haven't. <laughs> And we went back and forth a little bit and I'm like, but that helped me at that exact moment, Anna, you're watching, hopefully you can do this. That came in at the exact right moment because I was designing for ink, paper, scissors. So you're going to get to see this tip now, but then you're also going to get to see um, it used in the Splendid Thoughts ink, paper, scissors that's coming up later in September. So I've done a tip Tuesday or maybe Kelly did. Hi, Cindy Runtree from Southern Virginia. Kelly or I did a tip on using blends, Stampin' Blends, like the alcohol-based alcohol markers to color ribbon. We've done that in the past, but what Anna said to do is talk about using a blending brush or a sponge dauber to add ink to a ribbon. And I thought, oh, this is perfect because Splendid Thoughts uses that soft seafoam ribbon. <laughs> Hi, Lisa Spasic. Um, I don't know. Oh, I do. Perfect. I have a blending brush right here. So... Uh, I'll flip the camera down and we're going to roll. Maybe you didn't understand what I was saying. Yes, exactly, Anna. I, so sometimes you guys, I will be honest, I read messages kind of fast uh, and I might not get what you're saying. And so I will be confused <laughs> and then we make it me unconfused and life goes on. And so, yeah, so I thought Anna was talking about blend or bl stamping blends, but she was talking about blending brushes. So this is where Tip Tuesday is going to be. I'm going to show you how to color this ribbon. Because, oh my gosh, you guys. So soft, I have to admit, soft seafoam is not my favorite color in the book, okay? It's like blah to me. It, it, it's, it's perfect in the right scenario. Like it looks really nice with Mary Merlot. But I'll tell you, to use soft seafoam ribbon on all those four cards for Splendid Thoughts, I was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? And so when Anna said, color the ribbon, I'm like, oh, yes. So let me grab a Calypso Coral ink because I need that. So, and then we're going to flip the camera down. Hi, Patsy Roberts. Hi, Karen Cotton. Hi, Vicki Fritz. Hi, Angela Knutson. Okay, so we've got just a coral ink pad, right? So this is going to be perfect. Um, so for this class, we are going to, I'll show you the card. This is so sneaky peeky of ink, paper, scissors already for next month. And so this ribbon is actually this green ribbon, right? And it's actually, it's soft sea foam. It's like this really light green color. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna use Anna's idea to color the ribbon. And so you could use a sponge dauber or you could use a blending brush. And I personally liked the sponge, hi Betty Pyle. I personally like the sponge dauber because I can put my finger in the cap and I get more direct ink transfer to the ribbon, but it completely changes. And I started to do this and I'm like, wait, 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 I should wait and do this with you guys for Tip Tuesday. So that's why I had started to do it. And so I cut myself, no, 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 Anna. Oh man, Anna, that's gonna be Tip Tuesday for next week. Shh, we're gonna talk about that later in life, okay? So Anna's got a different idea for you guys for Tip Tuesday and I'm gonna pre-record it and air it next Tuesday because I am gonna be traveling yet next Tuesday. So shh, mom's the word on that one, Anna. Okay, so I have enough ribbon here cut for what I need. Hi, Mary Jean Kiebert, and I'm going to use the dauber. And I've already got a little bit of ink in here because I was using this to design. But honestly, this is what you do, you guys. You just run the, the ink right on the ribbon, and you could add more or you can add less. Oh, cool, Donna. This is perfect. So I would say it definitely would work good on a lighter color ribbon, like the white crinkled ribbon. You could probably even do... Yep, Anna spilled the beans. It's okay. So little... Precursor to next week's Tip Tuesday, we're going to be talking about using laminating sheets in a way that will help you kind of what we're doing now. So um, thanks for sharing, Jean Maxwell. I appreciate it. So you guys, that's it. We're just doing a little bit of ink addition to our ribbon. Now, when you flip it over, you can see that the ink actually transferred and soaked right through to the other side. Now, when you use a... Um, a Stampin' Blend, like an alcohol-based marker, it actually 
makes your ribbon really hard and rigid. It like, it just, it hardens it. So when you use a water-based ink like this, um, Hi Corinne Boobia, it actually leaves your ribbon very soft and silky, right? So it doesn't give it that crunchy, dried out feeling because when the alcohol dries on the ribbon, it like evaporates out the moisture and I feel like it just leaves it crunchy. And then it's not easy to tie bows and all that good stuff. Hi, Denise Rye. So I don't want to dirty my blending brush because I don't want to <laughs> feel like cleaning it, right? But I'll be honest with you. You could dip this into your ink too and you could use your blending brush here to do the work of what the sponge, you guys, you can tell I stamped today. I've got green fingers. <laughs> Diane and I finished off November's Let's Just Stamp. We are ahead of the game. So the one thing I wanna heed a little, thanks for sharing, Corinne. I wanna heed caution. Um, if you go to use this ribbon right now and you're trying to tie it around something that is, let's say, white, um, you could risk getting some residue, some residual color coming out, and um, and then it might get on your project, right? So, because we're gonna do a little showcase, um, does this way take longer to dry than the blends, or is it the same? <laughs> I was just gonna talk about that. So, because of the water in it, um, hi, Gail Heisler. You're able to catch me live, yoo-hoo! I'm glad you enjoy watching me. Um, so, just to Debbie's question, I don't want to work with this right away. I want to give it a second to like let some of the moisture out because if I start working with it, I feel like the color is going to stick to my fingers and then I'm going to get it on my white paper and then I'm going to be a little bit sad. So because we're, we've got time here, I'm going to just set this off to the side and we'll come back and I'll show you um, wrapping it around the card and then like what the next step would be, which is just using the ribbon. So, and you can see here, it's really soft yet, um, where when you use the alcohol-based marker, it makes it really, I would say the word is crunchy, <laughs> like crinkly. Um, so, good question though. So, terms, of, hi Vicki Sloan, in terms of time to dry, you know, it's instantaneous pretty much with the alcohol blend, but with this one, it might, take so I would give it some time I mean and it it could be used now I think but you know as long as I've got a little time to let it sit there I wouldn't say like oh I gotta wait for it overnight but I would give it just a little time so we'll come back to it and we're gonna start talking about other things so we're gonna put it right over here actually okay just to share with you guys I do have some happy mail I love to share my happy mail I get this is from Carol Selinsky she has a bright, soft, no, um, a soft and soothing um, hand pen designer paper mixed with mint macaron. You can see she embossed here with the painted texture embossing folder, my number one favorite out of the annual catalog. And she's got some scallop circles and it says a happy hello for you. Very pretty card, Carol. And then she's got a little butterfly in the inside. Hi, Cindy Miller. All right, this one comes to you from Miss Anna Rebidou. She knocked this one out of the ballpark too. Look at that. I, so uh, she had something in here for me and I like well, I opened it up and I snuck it out. It was a little letter here and uh, I was afraid to untie the bow, but I'm going to untie the bow for you guys so you can see this. She's got a nice gold circle on here. Uh, amazing Silhouettes Butterfly and she used texture sheet paper with the gold ribbon out of the mini catalog. Um, hi, Judy Bobo. So then you... The ribbon goes through this layer, it wraps around the back, and then it goes, oh, I love it. I didn't even open it yet, you guys. She's got the thanks um, die cut out of gold, and then your kindness warms my heart, and she used some of that brush strokes uh, paper, and then she's got little squares on the side to decorate the inside. This screams um, casing for a fun fold idea. I love it. So I don't know if I'll get that tied back as nicely as she had it. My trick for tying bows is I do them upside down. And I think we might do this one with one bunny ear like that <laughs> and go that route. <laughs> so very pretty card, Anna. And this one just came in today from Holly Paplo. I love that she used the T-Boutique uh, note cards and envelopes. So the envelope matches like that. And then she's got her card on the inside that matches as well. Hi, Lizzie Lister from the UK. 
I got, she's got little hearts. And so I love that die cut. I can't remember where it's, if it's in the annual catalog currently or the past, but there was one similar to it in the past. And that's what I'm thinking of in my head. But yes, very pretty card here from Holly. Oh, you guys, I'm just going to flip it open really quick. Holly, I hope you're okay. Hi, Cindy Bassett. She decorated it so nicely. You did make it for a live, Cindy. Hi, Tabitha. So she put little hearts in here and she put little hearts on my name. It's adorable. And that's how she did here too. You guys, it was so adorable that she put little hearts. So anyways, Holly, I got this and it was awesome. Hi, Becky Gandolfo. All right, so you guys, that's the happy mail I wanted to show with you, show you now. Okay, so for those that are new to the showcase, um, when I do the cards, um, I have a PDF schedule that's out on my website. Um, when you get card classes from me, um, I try to include a copy if if it's new or updated. Um, I generally, hi Carol Selinski, uh, I usually include them in the beginning of the new catalog cycle for sure. Um, and otherwise, you know, it's available on my website. And I'm going to show you guys where to find this because the most current up-to-date version is always out there. Um, but I have to add a couple classes to it, so it will be changing for in-person. But I'll flip down so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And this is what I work off of. I Again, I'm a paper person, so I like to have a schedule. So I always have my monthly classes on the side, and this goes out through December, you guys. So I know you can't read it from watching this video, but you can when you access it, just know the monthly classes are here. And my club does the same classes as the monthly. Hi, Ethel King. <laughs> and then we have... The, I do a, a featured sweet bundle class every month. So I do a monthly class with three cards, a featured sweet bundle class with four. I do my mystery card night, and that is always listed on here as well. And then Diane Bogan Hagen and I do Let's Just Stamp, which is no die cutting or embossing, but awesome cards nonetheless. Um, and like paper pumpkin classes are listed. I have my Be Happy Stamper team events. Um, ink, paper, scissors are listed here. Games and prizes where I do lucky hand game nights and bingos. And then extras. So like this is extras from July. So that's done. Extras in August is done. But the schedule online would start with extras in September and then October, November, December. And then I always have the featured suite bundle class promotion. So if you, if you buy a certain bundle, that's my promotion over here, and you buy it by the highlighted and yellow date, um, you can attend any of the three classes for free because you bought the bundle. And then you also get a half a pack of the paper that goes with the bundle. So, so you guys, just in case you're not sure where to get a good current copy. Um, hi, Sandy Zidoon. I'm going to show you guys on my phone here how to do this. You just go to your internet and in the browser, you're going to type my email address. So um, cards by Chris B., is what you would type cards by crispy.com and it takes you to my landing spot this is my website and on a phone you need to click the three little lines and then you go to blog and news and then under that is newsletters and files the very first one right here says cards by christine august through december schedule when you click on that on your phone or on your internet, however you download it, and it opens up as this doc. Oh, you'll need to allow access. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got to allow access. Okay. So <laughs> um, that didn't happen the last time. Let's try it from a different browser. I'm going to go to DuckDuckGo and try it from there. So cards by crispy.com. I'm wondering if it was a different browser menu that... We go here, try it again. Newsletters and files, click on it, allow. Oh, save to downloads. So if you're on your phone, like you might have to go through this little rigmarole of downloading it and then opening it and opened up, boom. If you're on your computer, it's a lot less steps, but here it is, you guys. And this one starts with September. I've got my mystery. So that's my schedule. And that's how you would access it. And even the bundle promo classes are listed. And then people ask if I have past classes still available. I do. And they're always listed on the back end of my schedule. So past classes still available. Three card classes, four to five card classes, and then older ink, paper, scissors. So that's where the schedule is, you guys. All right. Then the other thing is, let's back up a little bit. 
that's the paper copy, but you guys can find my events on the event schedule. So August is the current month, but if you click to September, every little gray marking is a class that I have. Thursdays are always Facebook Lives, and then on some Mondays. And so if you click on it and you want to see what it is, you just click on it and it has the close-ups of the cards and it has all the details, okay? So some of you are new and some of you are existing customers, right? That maybe don't even know that this is always out there, all right? So every event in September pretty much is up to date, except for I have to update um, my lucky hand because I just added lucky hand, okay? So I hope that that helps people know how to find things because I get oftenly asked like when is this class or how much do I have to do with this class and if I you know what the saying is if you teach a man to fish he'll fish for life right so if I'm hoping if I show you guys where to find things that you can look for it and find it and then come back to me and say okay I'm ready I know what to do <laughs> so um so that's where you can find things um my events calendar and then also my pdf schedule all right Hopefully that, <laughs> that makes sense. So we're gonna start going through the classes for September, you guys. So this is where you might wanna take a note. Um, also know, if you can't catch and watch this whole live because maybe you just popped on to say hi or you have something else going on, the replay will always be available on Facebook in my video section. And also I upload this video to YouTube so you can catch it in either place as a replay, okay? So good deal. We're going to start with the monthly classes. And this is where I'm going to tell you what stamp sets are used. Also, I'm going to try to talk about the ink colors because you might not always have the stamps that I use for a card class. You might want to try to use something that you have at home and not have to buy the stamp set. So maybe you like the layout. And so I might tell you all you need to have is this, or you need a sentiment, or you need this. So this is where it helps people try to understand, well, I really love this set. I want to buy it so I can make the cards identical. Or do I have something that will work at home and I don't have to buy another stamp set that is your iffy about, right? So keep in mind when the cards are designed, I try to take that into account that you might not have the stamps. And so I try to do a lot more die cutting or a lot more embossing so that it leaves it that there's not as much to stamp, okay? So, all right, so let's flip down and we're gonna talk about the monthly classes. Monthly classes are always, um, they're either fee-based or you can get them free with an order. Um, to get them free with an order for mailing is $45. It's still celebration now. Um, the other thing that I need to tell you guys too is um, if you wanna place an order to get a class for free, the order needs to be placed in the month that the class is or the class is the next month. So right now, if you place an order, it's eligible to get a class in um, August or September, not like in December. Right? I don't bank orders for months on out because I'm working in the current month, but I know that as it gets close to the end of the month, there aren't any classes available yet for that month, right? Because it, like, it's getting to the end of August and I don't have classes, but people are placing orders, especially to get celebration items. So that's why you can pick classes the next month in September, but not October, okay? Um, when it comes to signing up for classes, you can sign up for any class anytime that you want. If you wanna sign up for a December class right now, cool, awesome. If you want to pay for it, great. You can pay for it. But to get that class for free in December, you'd have to place the order in November or December, right? So just a little about that because I get asked that question a lot. So hopefully that helps. And especially if you're new to me, you don't know that. So I try to keep reminding people or telling you for the first time that's what that's all about. So this class that I'm talking about for September um, is... Um, product-based, like, not sorry, it's, um, you can get it free with an order of product from me through me using a host code, or you can pay it, whichever you prefer. So what we have for the monthly class in September. So let's go to September here and talk about it. So the stamp set here that is featured is Ringed in Nature. And I have that right here to show you guys. And it looks like this. Now, if you look closely at the card though, uh, there's only one thing stamped on it, and it's a sentiment in the middle of the tree stump, right? It does come from this set, as does um, the die cutting and the stumps all come from this. Hi, Stacy Burns. So like I mentioned, all the embossing, all the die cutting is done for you. So what you would need is, this is soft, soft 
suede. You could easily use espresso or any other dark brown. Um, you could even use a mossy meadow on there. Um, and then the sponging around the edges is in soft suede. Um, the inside has the stump that's from here. But again, you can stamp whatever you guys want on your insides to do your own focal images. I just use, like to use something from the set. So there's the first card for the monthly class. Hi, Karen Wettstein. Um, the second one is called um, Perched in the tree mm -hmm. perched in a tree yep so this is the stamp set now this one you will need to potentially have a bird maybe um so the bird is stamped in early espresso the sentiments in early espresso and there's little splatteries on here that come from the set um, the branch and the leaf are die cut already and the aspen trees are die cut so my thing would be hi mary jane capert my thing would be like if you don't have this exact bird do you have a different bird do you have something else that could go or you know what i bet you could even put this leaf in front here and not even put the bird on your card right so this one's very easily repli replicatable if you don't have the stamp set so perched in a tree is that one and then the last card is with cottage wreaths and so this is um so these are all sets out of the new holiday mini catalog and so uh, this one though <coughs> the only thing i use for stamps on the outside of this is hello 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 and the embossing with the leaves are done i did sponge over with crumb cake just to highlight the leaves um, lots of stella i did use a cajun craze stamp and blend to color the berries on the wreath but again, the die cutting, the background is embossed with the timber embossing folder and then sponged around the outside. Um, so sentiment and then Cajun Craze ink is what I used on this one. So for those that are interested in that class, this class, it's um, $15 or $20 mailed. Or if you come to in-person class, it's a $25 order and I think it's free with a $45 order. But again, it's celebration time, you guys. So if you do a $50 order, you get a celebration item and your name on my board. So that is the monthly September card making class. It's on a Wednesday and a Saturday always. And then the Facebook Live for anybody that is wanting to do it, it's live with me via Facebook on September 15th. Okay, it's like the second, ooh, I don't know if that's the third Thursday actually. So, okay, so that's that. Now, so that's monthly class for September. Now, we go over, so the club does the same cards, so that's that. Um, the featured suite bundle class for, <laughs> for September is Rustic Harvest. Now, that's the name of the suite, but the name of the stamp set is actually called Rust, um, Hello Harvest, okay? So I try to use the dies and the stamps from this to make four cards. Um, I will pull in other things from other, other products that are current, um, this is the promotional class where if you look at the very end of my catalog, a catalog, the, the sheet here, featured sweet bundle, it says here, order the Rustic Harvest Bundle by September 23rd. And I stick to those dates, guys, because I need to order the paper ahead to be able to ship with your kits. So if you ask me a day or two late, if you ask me a day later, I might say yes. But if you ask me a week later, I will say no, because I have to pre-buy the paper to include in your kits. Okay, because I mail them out um, around like 9, 23, 9, 24, right? So you get a half a pack of the Rustic Harvest Designer Series paper as a free gift from me because you chose to buy the bundle for this class. And then I offer this class on a Wednesday and a Saturday in person. And then this is the following week, 9, 22 on a Thursday for anybody who wants to do a Facebook Live. Hi, Pamela Leahy. All right, so let's go through the cards. So this is wishing you the loveliest day is from here. In this case, I am going to die cut out the label. Um, oh, actually, Tammy is going to help me. Um, <laughs> I'm loving that frame to your left, Miss Christine Becky. We will be talking about this frame to my left. This is Tyler even gave me a copper acorn. Um, we'll talk about that because that's coming up in September as well. And we'll talk about how you can get invited to that. So for this one... There are two cards that use that stamp right here. Um, if you don't get this set and you get your, what you're going to do is you're going to get the banner like this. You could stamp something else in the banner, no problem, and leave it white and then just sponge the edges. And that's what I did. This one I sponged the edges in Mary Merlot 
This one I did in soft suede or early espresso, but th that's stamped in early espresso, that's stamped in black memento. Um, so that's what's on the outside of these cards. All of this die cutting, um, yeah, he was sweet. He gave me a good, good rating here. Um, so all of everything else on here, you guys, is die cut or embossed. So just needing a sentiment in a brown ink for this one. This one, this one's a little bit fun. So when you open this one up, it's not so crazy, but it's a little bit different than a typical card, right? So it has this arm that flips up like this. Yep. So so that embossing's done. You get a little um, foil, a uh, rose gold foil butterfly to put at the top. You guys, all my kits include all the ribbon, all of the embellishments, anything die cut is all done, anything embossed. Hi, Catherine Healy. Um, hi, Hildy. Um, here's the another card. Now, this one, there's a pumpkin. Pumpkin was stamped in Cajun Craze, and I did use, you. if you guys watched me do Abigail Rose last week, Abigail Rose, I colored all of these flowers with a Stella pen and ink, okay? That's what I did for this pumpkin. I used Cajun Craze ink, and I dipped my Stella pen with a mixture of water, and that's how I colored the pumpkin, so he got really glisteny. Um, you could just use a Cajun Craze blender pen if you wanted. Uh, the sayings in espresso. And I used a little sponge dauber to go over the leaves. So that is the third card. Now, if you don't have the pumpkin, you guys will get a circle like that. Stamp whatever you wish on there that is fallsy related, I think. All right, the last one for this one is the sunflowers. So, every, and these little guys, they got used on the inside. I really didn't use the squiggles or the little line, but I did, I used the hello. The hello is in one of them. Oh, okay, so here's the thing for this one. I pulled in the bottled with happiness punch, which you'll get a white bottle punched. And I use vintage Christmas. Now I'm going to go grab it. I forgot to grab it. Vintage Christmas looks like this, right? So that's where I stamped after I, had, I actually, you guys, I did this bottle for a class back in September, um, uh, July, I think. I had punched out all these white bottles. I saved all of them. And like, I need to create a card using all these punched out white bottles, right? Because I had 60 of them already punched out. So all I did was take the stamp and stamp that on the bottle. And if you don't have vintage Christmas, let me go grab it just so you can see. Hang on. If you don't have this one set yet, but you might have bottled happiness. There's also a bottle on here that you could stamp in there. Worst case scenario, you guys get yourself a background stamp that puts a background on there. And otherwise you could sponge the edges. You could leave it as a white bottle. Um, the, like really, I'm not so worried about you guys not having the bottle stamp. Um, these sunflowers do come from the set. And if you don't have sunflowers, you could easily, if you did have um, bottled happiness. You could put those flowers on. If you had vintage Christmas, you could put that stuff on. Um, you can put, you'll get a white piece of paper and you'll be able to stamp what you need to on it to put something on top of your bottle. And then you'll get a little tag like that already die cut. I'll make your little bozies for you. And that's this class. So this again was called Rustic Harvest. It's my featured sweet bundle class for the month of September. If you specifically buy the bundle for your RSVP for class like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people have already done, you'll get a half a pack of paper from me as a free gift. So you do have to always use the host code when placing your order online and you have to follow up with me. I, I try to keep track of things as best I can, but if you're sending in an order you know, and I see all what you've ordered, like I might put it together, but I do, oh, it was perfect. Mary Lemke was awesome. She placed her order. She followed up with an email. She said, I just placed an order. I used the host code. I would like this class. And I'm like, boom, <laughs> perfect. That's exactly what I need um, is for you guys to tell me what you're thinking when you place your orders. Um, hi, Marilyn Skorker. Hi, Holly Poplo. I showed off your card earlier, Holly. Um, I did get it in the mail today. So, um, so 
if you guys place an order and you don't tell me, I do follow up with an email that says, hey, you just placed an order using the host code. What class would you like? But it always helps me when you let me know what you're thinking. So, okay, so that's Rustic Harvest coming up later in September. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so that's that one. Now, mystery card night, you guys. Mystery card night <laughs> is a little bit earlier than normal. Um, I am going to go, I'm going to backstage. Um, I leave Friday, Thursday morning at 5 a.m. and then go straight down to Shipshawana, come back, it's Labor Day weekend. And then Tyler and I are taking a camping trip um, out to Maryland. And so that week is when Kelly's actually gonna do mystery card night for me. The card's already designed, mystery card night clue number one is already out there on my calendar. It's, I believe, oh man, I don't know, September, September 8th. I could have just looked right here, <laughs> September 8th, Thursday. So so Kelly's gonna be doing mystery card night for me um, on the 8th while I'm gone traveling, which is awesome. I'm so lucky and grateful and blessed that I have Kelly that can help me so I can take a vacation. Um, <laughs> so it feels like I'm gonna be gone for a little while, guys. Uh, oh, Corinne grew up in Maryland, perfect. We're going to Cunningham Falls State Park for a few nights camping. All right, so mystery card night is earlier than normal, guys. I tricked and stumped some of you guys, I think, because I know Anna reached out to me and said, did you mean to publish that? I'm like, yeah, because it's like in two weeks. So it's a little bit earlier than normal because Kelly's doing it, and then I need to fill in all the rest of the month with things, all the other classes. Okay, so let's flip down and talk about um, Paper Pumpkin really quick over here. So um, Paper Pumpkin is this Thursday. So Kelly's doing Paper Pumpkin. So she's got two back-to-back -back classes. Hi, Vicki Lynch from Australia. She's doing the Paper Pumpkin. It's this guy. She's doing this one. This is my kit, my last one. She's, got, she's gonna be doing Paper Pumpkin for you guys on Thursday. I have been asked a bunch. Hi, Penny Powell. I don't have any left. I had 14 of them that I had extra and they are all gone you guys so I don't have any left <laughs> late to the party well you can always catch back the the last or the first half hour later um so she's gonna do the paper pumpkin um for September if you go to I have it on my calendar for 926 right now which is a Monday I'm switching it to Tuesday um 927 so just be aware I'm gonna be making that adjustment um, so Kelly's going to be doing it on Tuesday because I'm adding a lucky hand in person on Monday night and I can't do it on Tuesday because it's date night. Tyler would have my hide if I did class on date night. Um, <laughs> so, so paper pumpkin is going to become 927 and I saw what it is. And you guys, if you go out to my calendar now, it's under Monday. I got to switch it to Tuesday. It's treat boxes. Um, you can see all the details. I've got what it consists of. Um, if you're looking for some fun ideas for trick-or-treating or for your um, kids to give out in school or your grandkids to give out um, or your, to give your coworkers, to give your friends, to give your family, this is a great like treatsy kind of paper pumpkin. So it makes it really easy to give out little treatsies to people. So that's going to be September's paper pumpkin is featuring Halloween product. Okay, so a little switch through to the schedule on there, um, but that covers paper pumpkin for the next two months. Then there's a class that I do, um, show your host code. Okay, so a note on the host code, you guys. So I will tell you that my host code is down here. It's, it's usually down here, but I don't keep a host code open for the whole month. I don't keep it open for the whole week. I base it off of when it gets to be a certain amount where I usually close my workshops around $450 to $600 because that's like the cap of what you get for host rewards. So the host code does change often. And so it's good to see it down here, but just know that if you go to use it and it says it's not good, then you got to go to my website to get the current one. I will show you that really quick because there's actually a link that I created that all you have to click is here and it takes you right into my online store and automatically applies the host code. So you don't have to do that. So good point for that question right now, Karen. So I will show you guys that. So if we go back into my website, <coughs> sorry, I breathed in air funny. And you're on my calendar here where it's the September 2022. I say go to the events calendar and you scroll past this picture of me and it says use this host code. Look, it is the same one at the moment, but tomorrow I might close this or two um, in three days I might close it. I don't know when I'm going to close it. So if you go here, you can always hard press on here and copy it and then go into the website 
or you can copy and paste this whole website here, or the easiest thing um, is you click here. And when you click here, it takes you directly into Stampin' Up's um, online store. And when you click on the little cart, it actually, <clears throat> it actually shows my host code right there. So you don't even have to type it in or like enter it anywhere. So I always try to teach people the easiest way to use my host code is go to my website, Cards by Crispy. If you click on anything, if you click on my story, it's down here as well. It's always underneath that mugshot. <coughs> so by clicking here, it's on every one of my screens that, um, well, that took me out because that took you into the catalog. So my catalogs are out there as well. If you go to shop, um, like if you go to any one of these little links, it's always there. Um, yes, Lynn Beasley. Some of you guys are uh, rock stars on this. Um, I don't know if it's on the bottom of this one. Sorry, it's probably going really fast. These are all my past online classes. I was just testing. Yep, it's down there at the bottom. So it's always on there. So it's always best if you're uncertain, just go right here. It saves you a, hus a hassle or hunting for it, you guys. It's always there at the bottom. So hi, Marsha Kulabert. Um, so, so Karen Cotton, that was a very good question. Um, for those that are new, you might not know that. For those that are current, you might not know how easy it is. Just go to my website, click that here button. It takes you into the online store. And then all you have to do is log in. So, uh, but there it is. That is the current one for the moment. So let's just stamp is the class I do with Diane Bogenhagen. And as long as I'm here, we're going to go through, you guys. We have ringed with nature done. We have apple harvest done. And we have decor. Ah, da, da, da. Um, we switched it. We were not creatively <laughs> inspired with that one. So it's trimming the tree. All right. So trimming the tree. We just finished these. They're hot off the press just today. So I'm sharing you. I'm going to share with you all of these right now. Even though I was really going to feature September classes only. This will give you a little bit of idea just to say, oh yeah, I really like those cards and like put a star on your paper. I mean, if you want to get signed up for them already, you definitely can. So just know though, the only one that you can place an order to get for free is wearing ringed with nature. Apple Harvest. Hi, Susan Hendrick, Hendricks. Um, you can sign up for Apple Harvest or trimming the tree. You just can't get it free with an order at the moment. Okay. So let's look down. Let's show you what we have. So with ringed with nature, I do have to advise we did use celebration paper because it matched it so sweetly. Um, the ringed with nature, ringed with love designer paper will no longer be active next month, but we were like, we have to pull this paper in. So just a little side note that if you want this paper, you better get it free with an order now in the month of August. If you place that order, you could get this class for free and you could get your own pack of designer paper, but I provide the designer paper with your kits, right? So this set is going back to the Ringed with Nature, which is the same set that we used for the monthly class. We, well, what did we do? We did the poinsettia with this card. We did the mushrooms with one card. And then the house, we didn't use the stamp, you guys. We actually pulled in the designer series paper. So everybody's houses are going to look slightly different because there's so, all different houses on the paper. And you just fussy cut it. So you don't have to have this stamp set at all. The sun is a punch. And then the birds come from a set called Enjoy the Moment. Balmy blue ink for making a sky. And then you have your birds on the side. And this little guy goes, well, let's get the inside. <laughs> you guys, I, you can see I practiced on the back, right? All right, so that. And then it goes this way. And then you have a little card. So if you know somebody who's moving, you want to give them a little welcome card. Um, this is stamped in the background with Versamark and the little leaf stamp just to add a little bit of decoration back there all right so don't need a lot with this one the poinsettia card uses poppy parade with evening evergreen so the poinsettia is stamped in poppy parade with some leaves that are evergreen um and the sentiment is evergreen it's so cool i had never really done this before on a card for a class but do you see that and um, the like the lines going this way and the lines going that way so i will do that for you in your kits i will already have scored that for you it kind of frames the card it's so cool um i thought it turned out awesome so nice little christmas card <laughs> and then on the inside we've got 
the little poinsettia down there. So we got Poppy Parade Evening Evergreen. Again, all the ribbon and little embellishments will be in your kit. The last card, um, you'll need a Poppy Parade marker to color your little berries. <sighs> the stumps and the, okay, so I'm on the fence what I should do with this because we did use these stamps. Yes, Holly, they are so cool, those score lines. We did use these stamps in Soft, soft Suede and Poppy Parade. Now, the dyes come with mushrooms and stumps. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm not freezing, Judy. I'm watching right along with you. I'm not freezing, so I'm hoping nobody else is freezing. Um, go out and come back in, maybe. Um, I'm on the fence. I don't know if I should provide it, because the, they have die cuts for the stumps and the mushrooms. I may just <laughs> include the die cut pieces, um, in case people don't have the stump. So I guess I'm looking for feedback. I know that you would probably rather have the die cuts, but maybe enough people have the ring with nature and that, I'm not sure. I, I don't know if I want to have my gal's die cut extra stuff. <laughs> Anna's listening right now. She's like, oh, not me. I have too much other stuff to do. So if I can find somebody else to help me die cut some stumps and some mushroom tops, um, I might just include them. So you don't have to worry about having those stamps, but I haven't decided yet. So the sentiment here is in Poppy Parade, and I love how we took the DSP. It must be something around here. Storms are moving in. Okay, no problem, Judy. So that is a little technique, like splicing your designer paper and then stamping in the center there. So that one, you guys, is under Let's Just Stamp, uh, Ringed with Nature. Um, that class is right when I get back from Maryland. It's like, I will be honest, I usually do this Let's Just Stamp Mondays at 1.00 we might not be home until Monday at one because we're driving back and I don't know if we're going to try to do it all in one day. Oh, Mary says, can you include the die cuts? You know, I'm leaning towards that. So, and I usually only have like two dozen to two and a half dozen people that sign up for this class. So I don't think it's um, too much to do, right? So that's probably what I will end up doing. And talking about it made me realize that I need to get on the horn with that. <laughs> so you guys, I get back from Maryland on that Sunday or Monday. So I moved, let's just stamp from normally at 1 p.m. on Monday, Central Standard Time, to Tuesday at 1 p.m. Purple envelope is here. Yay, Hildy! I love it when you guys get your purple envelopes for me. Um, so, so let's just stamp is the 13th of September at 1. Okay, so that's let's just stamp for September. So for October, it is featuring the Apple Harvest stamp set. So let's pull Apple Harvest in. Okay, Apple. Now, again, I don't want to overwhelm more. So just showing cards in advance just to like, get you guys aware to know what's coming on. Um, oh, Karen, what's that? You can die cut them for me. <gasps> okay, we'll touch base after. <laughs> or I want to see you tomorrow night. I will send paper home with you. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Karen. Yay. Okay. So Apple Harvest is on here. October 10th, Monday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time or Diane's doing it October 18th on a Tuesday. So this is a stamp set. Okay. Sounds good. Christina Bernard's um, Apple Harvest is um, the stamp set that we're featuring for Let's Just Stamp in October. Now this is the one that's coming out with dies for you guys that anybody can buy these dies starting September 1st. Look at the dies. Oh my goodness. They, there's so many and I'm looking at them and I'm like eye candy right now. So we try not to use dies. Oh, perfect, Karen. That sounds great. Um, we can, we don't use the dies really for class because we try to gear this towards beginners who don't have dies or embossing um, or like machines to die cut or emboss. So <clears throat> they would be fussy cut. But if you have the dies, you could definitely use them for your class. <laughs> All right. So three different cards. Um, we need on this one, you guys, you're going to need, we use colored pencils to color all of our apples. So they have these different color families or two assortments for coloring. And so that's what we used. Um, in this one, we use espresso ink, um, soft suede ink and espresso. But ultimately, if you're doing this class at home, you could have gotten by easily with just espresso ink across the board for the stamping images. But the background has this little hash mark thing, which is this thing right here, that hashtag or whatever you call that thing. That's in Sahara stand in the background. Um, a little sentiment here, your apple cut out. So that's one card. And you guys might recognize this from the mystery card layout from August where you cut your paper diagonally. Um, and then those little hash mark diagonal, the diamond things are there as well. 
And then this one's the other card. <clears throat> this one is a little bit of a different fold as well. So let's show you what this looks like. So it's got the little arm. So this is a horizontal version of the other card. And then you open it up and it goes like that. <clears throat> so what we did is we used the Cottage Gingham Cottage Designer Series paper on this one. And so you can see that that's some of the different colors from the Gingham Cottage Designer paper. And then the Apple Harvest featured on all. Again, October for this one. <clears throat> and then we just finished these today, actually. This is what we have coming up for. Again, we switched it from decorating, decorating with happiness or decorated with happiness. We switched it to trimming the tree, okay? We just got more inspiration with trimming the tree. <laughs> this one right here out of the annual catalog, which also has dyes that are gonna be available for you on September 1st. Hi, Barb Johnson. Okay, so again, hi, Darcy Dutton. This is now November. You guys, this is the, like, the furthest I have out for classes is November. You can sign up for them, but again, you can't get this one for free with an order until October. But anybody can get signed up for these. And so we did this card. It features um, Evening Evergreen with uh, Cherry Caw, da, 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 Real Red. And so just stamped a sentiment in real red. All your stuff here will be punched out. So we have a little punching. Hi, Debbie Schultz. <clears throat> this one, oh my God, this is so cute. This was from a mystery night, I think back in January or February. And so it features some of, so we use painted Christmas designer paper on these three cards. We did that faux leather technique with crumpling up the paper. I know Karen Wetstein, you don't like that, <laughs> but you could emboss something else if you wanted. The timber embossing folder would be super cool back there. But again, we try not to do embossing, um, but you've got a little star on your tree. And so this tree comes and then you open it up and you can see the designer paper on both sides. So it's like a little mini card. So that's one of them using evening evergreen. And then our little tree pot is in soft suede. Oh, hang on, let's put him back there. Oh, there's the inside in case you wanna see the inside. All right, hi Doris Munson. Not signed up for a little email, not need signed up. So yeah, so this is not called decorating, just so you guys know, this is called trimming the tree. It was decorated with happiness. So if you ask, so Doris, if you say decorating the tree, I might be confused. Um, it's actually trimming the tree. And this is the last card. So this features um, shaded spruce, a little crushed curry for your star, and then real red. So that opens like that, and that one opens like that. A little bit like this, and a little bit like that. Early espresso for the um, tree pot there. Um, the tree is a two-tone stamping, actually. And this one, it's just shaded spruce and then stamped off. Where this one, it could be evening evergreen and stamped off or evening evergreen and soft succulent. So yes, Doris, you betcha. Send me an email, we'll get you signed up for that one. So that was trimming the tree. Let's just stamp. And that's in November, showing you way far ahead. <laughs> okay, let's talk about ink, paper, scissors, you guys. Ink, paper, scissors coming up September 1st, which is next week, Thursday. This is called Lovely and Lasting. <clears throat> it's the um, September 1st. Now, I'm, I'm telling you guys, this is this is officially August's paper pumpkin. No, August's ink, paper, scissors, but it rolled over to September 1st because I was gone, right? So I had to switch things around. I have three kits left. So I'm pretty sure I only have three. So if you're, you were on the fence or you didn't ever see this one, um, the first, I should say the next three people who reach out to me, um, I can, if you reach out to me by tomorrow, I can get it in the mail before I leave. And otherwise it'll be late and you could always watch the replay for the class. But I do have three left and I'll show you guys the cards. This is $30 for porch pickup or it is $36 if you want it mailed to you. And so they're all cards featuring the lovely and linen designer paper stamp set, the punch, um, it's um, sweet sorbet, pale papaya, night of navy, a little evening evergreen um, for your colors. Here's that diagonal slice again. Um, and then this one is super cool. I have it set up so that when you open it, it opens like this and then opens like that. So a little bit of extra layering in there. Um, you get a roll of the pink, petal pink polyester ribbon and you get a package of the, the embellishment. So just to note, you guys, I have three left. So if you are interested in that class, um, please, I would say contact me via email 
cell phone, text message, whatever, just to let me know so I can make sure I get you signed up for that. So that's the August Ink Paper Scissors on September 1st. Now, I'm excited for this. We'll go back to our um, Tip Tuesday now. So the Ink Paper Scissors for September is going to be on September 29th, which is the last Thursday in September. Same price, it's $30 for porch pickup or 36 mailed. And I can't wait to show you these cards. <laughs> these are fun. So, um, those are the cards. Oh man, where do you go? Right there. Okay, so, so we have, so you get, you'll get a pack of the trinkets from me as part of your goodie bag. You'll get a roll of the soft seafoam ribbon and you'll get a quarter pack of the designer paper and you use your paper, your trinkets and your ribbon in your card kits um, for, to make your cards. But like any of this die cutting, Anna's already working on that. So that's in her, um, <laughs> it's in her hands. She's gonna die cut you some awesome pieces um, and then they get put on your card. So soft seafoam I have in the background. You can't even see it, it's so light. It's this little guy, um, this the little ball thing. That is stamped and then Mary Merlot for Let's Celebrate. So soft seafoam and Mary Merlot for that one. This one, I pulled in soft seafoam with fresh freesia. And so you'll use your ribbon there. Um, this I use basic gray for the, um, the stamp for the sending hugs. And like Rhonda's die cutting, or I should say embossing. Hi, Millie Kindle, the background, Anna's got the pieces. So this one is stamped in fresh freesia. This guy right here, um, any light purple would suffice. What you'll do is you'll get a piece of white paper to stamp and then either die cut or fussy cut. I also am gonna include some of these embellishments in your goodie bag. Um, these embellishments nicely went with the whole color mix. So I'll give everybody um, a little row, I should say of those, a little column. Um, so this one, that's the second card. Again, a lot of the die cutting, your trinket. So you really don't need a lot of stamps. It's just something for a flower and then a, a sentiment. So this is the one that I showed you for Tip Tuesday where you have that saucy foam ribbon. And what happens is when you color it in the coral, it completely changes it. And so we just colored that over here. And what we're gonna do to finish off your Tip Tuesday, <laughs> this is gonna be difficult, you will definitely need your pokey tool to get that ribbon through here. So um, that will help you. Let's see here. I'm not going to try to um, not use a pokey tool, but what you want to do is get that ribbon. And then sometimes a tweezers helps as well. But let's see, there's that. It's like I'm making conducting surgery here with my trinket there. So you're going to run that ribbon. And we'll do this um, at class too on September 29th. But now then this, let's hang on here. This needs to go around this way and make sure you're straight back here. And then you're gonna tie this and then I wrap it around here so that it stays in the spot that I want it, okay. So I'm just tying, how did I do that? That's a good question. Um, I know I have it like this, and we're just gonna tie this. You know what? I think I just used a glue dot behind there. So you're gonna cut enough ribbon so that that little trinket there stays like that. And then I have my circle here already. And so my circle's gonna go here. So now I can get this ribbon exactly where I want it. And then that circle is gonna go right here. And then I'm gonna use a little glue dot and that will help keep the little trinket in like hanging down like that. So just to show you like, <laughs> you might not have been so excited about the soft seafoam color like me, but when you adjust the color and make it coral, it turns out cool. I'm sure you could use purple. I'm sure you could use anything, but this one, it's super cool because I made it so it's a pocket card for you. So this pops out like that and you've got this cute little pocket card. Um, I will cut the solid colored paper the way it needs to be with the diagonal and it's super easy. You're going to, I'll, I'm going to, I walk through how to cut the paper so you guys know exactly how to do it. Starts off as a rectangle and then we just diagonally slice it and that's how you get your mat. 
So super cool little technique fun fold actually for you guys on this one. And then the last one is a super awesome fun fold. <laughs> Thank you to Barb Johnson. I don't know if you're watching Barb Johnson. I know you were on a little bit earlier. Barb Johnson sent me this card not too long ago. And I'm like, oh yeah, definitely casing this card for a class. And I did this one for this class. And so it features um, just a stamp here, it's coral. And you use your designer paper. Um, this little plant in the background is this guy. And I stamped it in pear pizzazz. And then the little bee is in crumb cake. And that's from this set as well. But like when you open it up, well, sorry, kind of fail on that. <laughs> but you open it up and it's so cool. So you've got that metallic-y foil from the Splendid Thoughts on each of the panels there. And then I've got the bee on the inside. Thanks, Doris. So, oh my gosh, I had, you know, I, I was a little worried about Splendid Thoughts, but it, these came together for me. I was so excited. And there again, we're going to color our ribbon with a sponge dauber and we just tied it around the little trinket. So Anna, your tip came through for me right when I needed it the most. <laughs> so um, yeah. All right. So you guys, that's Splendid Thoughts ink, paper, scissors for September. Um, the gnomes are going to be for October. I don't have the gnomes done yet, but we're doing ink, paper, scissors. Um, just so you know, it's the gnomes will be uh, October. And if you're curious, I have all of them listed here. So we have gnomes in October, boughs of holly in, I'm sorry, gnomes in October, boughs of holly in November, and joyful flurry in December. Okay. Whew. You guys, are you doing okay? <laughs> wow. All right. September. We're not done yet. We have a couple extra things, but I've covered the core classes. Extras in September. Becky Gandolfo, you were asking about this little picture frame. Yes. So you guys, again, any you know, Penny, you want that class, just send me a, hit me up with a message and I can sign you up and um, we'll worry about payment when we need to. Um, this is the frame. So this is going to be for celebration, celebration. So you guys, we launched celebration with a party. We are ending celebration with a hoorah, rah. And then we're celebrating a successful celebration by having a celebration. So it's called Celebration Celebration. And it's by invite only. Um, and you earn an invite by either being a customer to me and placing at least $150 in orders in either Ju in July and August, right? Doesn't matter what month, but during celebration. So like a lot of my team asks me, well, I place a $300 order on my own account. Can I come? I'm like, nope, it has to be an order with me. Um, as you being my customer. And so um, so that's one way. Um, a second way is if you're new on my team. So you just joined my team and you place your first order. I look at it as a way to help um, train and teach you, okay, this is what it's all about. So it's like you earn your spot by becoming new on my team and getting your first order in. And then the third way is if you are on my team, an existing bee, and you have two people join your team, then you also earn an invitation. And so it's by invite and I'll let you know if you're invited and I'm working on that after this live and into tomorrow. I'm going to figure out some of you. I've already been able to do some calculations and I've sent you a note. Some of you, I have to do some manual. So my in-person customers, I still have to manually go through and add everybody. Um, and some of you are close. And so if you're within $50, I'll send you a note and say, Hey, you're within 50 bucks. Do you want to place an, another order? And then, um, what happens is you'll be invited to either the Facebook live or I have two in-person events. And you'll get the sheet of paper to do your scoring. You'll get a quarter pack of the Ringed with Nature designer paper from me. And then you'll get all these little pieces. So you'll get your die cut pieces here. You'll get some ribbon. You'll get some embellishments. And all you need is a sentiment and some sponging around that. Um, and I did use markers. I used um, Cajun Craze and Granny Apple, I think. Um, to color these because they start off as crumb cake and then you just color them but you'll get your little mushrooms um, and you can pick which designer paper you want in the back because you'll have a whole quarter pack to pick from and there's like three different ones that would work this little brown piece will come so you'll get a kit from me so some people were asking well what do you need to do if you get invited I'm like well you just tell me you want to take the class and I'll make sure you get your make and take packet and you also get a little goodie from me. My mom's making some cookies and um, I'll have them boxed up and everybody gets homemade cookies from me to that earn a spot. So, um, so you can either attend my Facebook Live, which is, um, it's a Friday. It's September 16th at 530 
or I have the 14th, a Wednesday, or the Sunday, the 18th at 1. So um, so be on the lookout. If you're uncertain, if you've earned a spot, um, just give me another day or two to make sure I get all the emails sent out. And then I'll, if you're within $50, I'll have an email talking about that as well. So, um, so that celebration celebration is a little 3D um, picture frame. And then during the live, I'll go through and make it. Now, for those on my team, if you don't qualify, don't be sad. Um, I think that my plan is to do this also as your make and take for the team meeting. So for the team meeting, you would need to um, attend in person or um, you would have to also notify me via um, text or email that you want to attend virtually and you want the make and takes. And then I would have to um, know that to be able to send the make and takes. And then there's a shipping cost because I got to mail out the products to you. So um so Becky said, I would like to make that. I am uncertain. Um, okay, we'll have to check Becky. Um, I'll have to see once where you're at. So if you just want to send me a note, um, I can let you know how close you are. So um, I, because I would have figured out, I've already figured out all the online people that place online orders for me. Um, the in-person, I haven't because I have um, order forms that I got to go through and tabulate and figure it out. Where online, I can easily run a query and that I get that easier. So, so Becky, I would have, um, just send me a note. I would have been able to figure yours out really easily. So, all right. So that's extras in September. We also have something else extra in September. And I think I'm super excited to share this with you guys. Oh man, it's so good. Um, so Tyler gave me the weekend to get caught up on stuff. You guys, I was supposed to go to the football game on Friday right after class. And so a bunch of you wished me like good luck and have fun. Well, so I got in the car to go up and Tyler's like, you know what, if you're not here, by the start of the third quarter, they're not going to let you in. And he's like, you're just going to waste your time driving. And I'm like, you know what? Good, fine. I'm not going to go. I'm good. So I didn't go. <laughs> well, he did. And uh, he drank a little too much. He didn't have to drive, right? So he was riding. Um, but he was not in good commission um, on Saturday. So I had Saturday night to myself. I had Sunday all day to myself. I cleaned up my craft room. Hi, Cheryl. Pajuski, I think, or Jeski. Um, <clears throat> I cleaned up my craft room. I got the game night cards made. Oh my gosh, life was good this weekend, you guys. I got a lot done. And I felt like a breath of fresh air getting things off my list that have been on my list for a long time. So with that, I needed a lot of creative inspiration with Cottage Wreaths because that is what I picked for your game night. It's September 19th at 6 p.m. And it's like we play lucky numbers. And so um, it's five. You give me your five numbers. And then what we do between one and 25, we might go one and 30. So I might um, up that to be one and 30. Hi, Ann Adams. But I got to figure that out. But it's like I call off numbers as I pick them. And then whoever has their five numbers drawn first, they get to pick. And I always have bundles as the prizes. Um, yes, Cindy, I needed some time to do what I wanted. That is exactly what. So I had a refreshing weekend, you guys. Um, Nobody really to figure out I just could work all by myself on stuff that I needed to get done. It was great. So game night, for some of you, a bunch of you have done it already, but for you, some of you that, oh man, I just um, lost my mirror thing or my light thing. Okay, so um, you sign up and it's there's a price. I can't remember exactly what it is. There's a website price because that charges um, a fee and then there's a cash price. That's on my website. So if you go to September 19th, I don't want to say anything wrong. It's about 40-ish dollars, um, $43 maybe with um, shipping, maybe $39 without shipping. I can't remember. But if you go to September 19th, and what you do is you get a goodie bag. You're going to get some paper from me. You're going to get the pearlized enamel effects, and you're going to get some ribbon. And you'll use those in your cards. And we make four cards. We play five games. There's door prizes, and it's a fun night. And I had such an overwhelming response. Um at my in-person classes that I had yesterday that I have also scheduled two more of these for in-person and they'll be September 20th at 10 a.m. and I already have eight people signed up and then I have um, September 26th which is a Monday at 6 p.m. So I'm going to offer this class three times as well you guys and are you ready excited to see the cards? Oh my gosh so okay I, I thought that the so when I I I, it took me all Saturday night to make three cards. I like. I feel like I can. If you you probably think that's a lot, right? But I usually can. Um, oh, thanks, Anna. So it was thirty seven dollars for porch pickup, forty three dollars for mailing. But no, if you pay for it via my website, it's thirty nine dollars that's charged to your credit card because it usually charges me about two bucks for every forty dollars. 
and then it's $45 and um, if you pay with your credit card for mailing. And what happens is that money, um, you get those things in your goodie bag, you get four card kits, and then on top of it, I take about $6 out of everybody's registration fee and I pull that together and I usually have... Um, I have five prizes that are usually bundles valued around $50 and you can only basically win once because basically if you've won once, then we share the love with everybody else and you do not necessarily, we, we keep track of your, so this comes up a lot because some other people do game nights a little different where if you, whoever pops up first that they get it, then they get it. But Kelly's watching your numbers with me and she will tell me so-and-so won before you even know you won. So I find that I wait until you say it. Um, and if we have two winners that get it on the same number, then we do a random number generator and then we pick somebody from uh, the random number generator, we'll pick the winner. And then the second place person gets a prize too. So we keep, we try to keep it as fair and square as we possibly can. So there's no hard feelings about anything about who said it first or who doesn't say it first, right? So that's, so that's a little bit about game night. If you're uncertain or have questions, always reach out to ask. Um, but are you ready to see the cards? I hope you are because Karen just said she loved the cards. I showed them off in class, you guys, and I had eight people from class that signed up like, boom. They're like, yup, we'll do it. So, all right, so Cottage Reef, I showed that to you earlier. Okay, so this is the stamp set that it features. Ah, oh, yeah, that's okay, right? Like, I like the sentiments, but I'm like, well, how can I design these cards in a way that you don't have to have this stamp set per se? Hi, Pam Simmons, if you don't want to get it, right? Because I think people either love this set or they hate this set. I don't I shouldn't say hate. They either love it or they don't, right? There's not a lot of people in the middle. So I designed cards that were, there's a spider with boo. So I did a Halloween card. I did a Christmas card. I did a fall card and a general card. All right. So this is the Christmas card. Oh, I hate how shiny that gets. So we'll put that there. So this is your Christmas card. You guys, all it is, is um, real red stamp in um, Mary, a real red stamp here. And the Merry Christmas comes from the set, but you get to use your, that enamel. So you'll get your pearlized enamel from me in this class. So if you don't own it, no worries. If you own it, you know what I tell people? Well, you could gift yours to somebody else or use it as a prize if you're a demonstrator for your team. You know, you could always give it away. But I made it look like a little like door and it's hanging, a sign hanging on your door. So that's the Christmas one. This is the Halloween-y one. And so I did stamp the spiders, but it looks super cool without the spiders, you guys. So I put the little boo on here, and here it's the black pearl enamel, right? The pearlized enamel, and there are little dots on the wreath. I had never done this diagonal slice thing before, but Anna had a card from a swap she did that I saw, and I figured it out, and I'm like, okay. So, um, so that's a different technique with the diagonal. Um, this is your fall card. So again, you'll get a roll of that ribbon and here using the white um, pearlized enamel things. I love, there's a little acorn right in the middle. Here I use coral ink and it was um, grateful. I am so very happy that you got it. Hi, Holly, yes, <laughs> I'm happy it came too. Uh, and then some little fall leaves and a little crumb cake bow. So again, you guys, all you need is a sentiment. All of this prep work, the embossing, the die cutting, is already gonna be done for you. And then the last one is, oh, so soft. It's the one that uses the hello. Um, you're not gonna like ripping this uh, twine apart because it is kind of a pain in the butt, but we'll go through it and show you how to do it. Um, again, the pearlized enamel is on here as well. Some little blushing bride made this one into a fun fold. Um, not a crazy fun fold, but it's got brick embossing folder on the back and you'll just sponge some color on it. Hi, Kathy Showalter. And then you open this up, and then you've got a, a double mat. So you guys, every one of these cards, I did do a double mat in honor of Julie and Diane. Um, so that one's got your double mat with the coral. This one's got your double mat, and I put the spiders up the side. I did pull in a sentiment from Scary Cute, but any kind of Halloween sentiment works in there. So then spiders crawling up. And this one, I did a double mat. And this one uses vanilla. And I did a double mat with the garden green. So that is what we have, again, for game night. And by popular request, 
I added two in-person events. Um, Tuesday, so it's game night is September 19th on a Monday. Thanks, Doris. It is listed on my schedule. It sure is. Um, it's under though, it's under games and prizes, okay? So I, I should retract that. For you, Doris, it's here. It says Stampin' Game Night and Card Workshop, September 19th, 6 to 8.30 p.m., RSVP by 9, 9. I think I have 9, 12. I need to buy stuff ahead. I need to buy your goodie bag stuff. So I need you guys to sign up so I know what to, you know, who needs to have it purchased, right? So, so I do, the sooner you guys can sign up for this and get it taken care of, um, the better. Um, hi, Luann Trumpower. Hi, Kay Weir. So yes, Patsy, that is game night for online. Yep, it's September 19th. Lucky hand for those that want to do it in person. I've got it September 26th at 6 p.m. and September 20th at 10 a.m. So I have a morning crowd that, um, a daytime crowd that likes to stamp. And so again, it is online called game night. In person, I call it lucky hand. All right, so the, again, it features the Cottage Reese stamp set. Um, you do not need to have the stamp set. Becky, yes. Follow up with a little text message. That would be awesome. Hi, Kathy Cornea. Um, so what is the cost for it mailed? Um, I think Anna had it back here. Um, she said 43 mailed or 30, yeah, 43. If you mail a check, um, if you send me a check, Donna, it's 43. If you guys, you know, if you send me money electronically, um, like Zelle, Venmo, Facebook, friends and family, it's 43. If you use Facebook good or service, it's 45. Um, ultimately I have a cash price and I have a non-cash price. If you're, if it's a point where it's going to charge me a fee, it needs to be paid at the higher price. And if you guys send me a, a, the lower amount at a good or service and it charges me the fee, I'm going to reach out to you and ask you to send the balance of a dollar or two, because if it happens over and over and over again, I'm out that right. And I base my pricing off of not being charged a fee. My website pricing is higher. It's basically a dollar for every $20 that the the charges for a fee. And so, um, yeah, so, but yeah, Donna, I think you send me a check. So it'd be $43 for the check price. Um, I had uh, somebody send me cash in the mail too. I won't say her name, but I did have cash and it came no problem. She slipped it between orange paper. So the mail system never had an idea <laughs> and it came here safe and sound. All right. So I think that's it for September. Um, we've talked about a whole bunch of stuff. New puppy was being a singer, so I missed some. Oh, okay, Donna, no problem. Um, once this face, any Facebook Live that I do, including this one, once I hit the end button, you guys, it goes right into the video section of my Facebook page, and then you can watch the replay. Um, it's like an hour and 17 minutes. Let's say the puppy started giving you problems 20 minutes ago, you could fast forward to the hour mark and then start watching it. So once the video is uploaded, you guys, or like saved to Facebook in the video section, you can go back to any section of it and watch from a certain point. So, oh, thanks, Anna. Um, hi, Laura Sullivan. All right, do you wanna see a little bit more or are you guys good? Because I have the um, one more class I could show you. It would be um, an October monthly class if you wanna see it. Um, I do have the cards done. I hate to inundate you with one more thing, but it might be a little bit, um, if now it's a teaser if I don't show you, right? <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys because I have the stamp sets pulled anyways. Um, I will show you what's coming up for the monthly class. More, Donna says more. <laughs> I knew you guys. We want more. Um, <laughs> yes, Holly says. <laughs> so I have the monthly class done for October, okay? So again, this is not one that you could get for free with an order right now, but come September, you could get this one picked out for free. Um, or you could sign up for it now, right? Um, sign up is always whenever. Um, so this is, I got three Christmas cards because it's starting to get that time where we need some Christmas cards. So all of the, um, I kind of transitioned to the monthly classes to be Christmassy related. So you guys, we're going to have lots of Christmas coming up, you know, between the sweet classes and then monthly classes. So again, this is October monthly class. And so this is the first one. And this one features the decorated with happiness. All right. So all the die cutting will be done for you. The only things that are stamped out here are evening evergreen and a sentiment. And then underneath here is this wishy-washy bell thing. So it's 
that one right there, and it's in Cherry Cobbler. So again, it would probably look pretty cool without it. If you have something else that you could stamp behind there, fine. Like, so you would not necessarily even need the stamp set. Um, on the inside though, I did put the boughs of holly and then the sentiment. The sentiment is really cool. Wishing you a season decorated with happiness and wonder. The dyes are so cool for this one. They The, the bow, so cool. So that's one card. Um, this one is, so you guys, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I don't have kids, but I don't know what it is. I can't get into Santa's delivery, but I didn't want you guys not to like see it in use. So the card I designed <laughs> is like, it just uses a sentiment and then it uses the train on the inside because I'm like, well, what if you guys don't have this set? And what if you don't like, so I really tried to design a card that uses the iridescent trim from the suite and it uses, um, the inside uses Santa Claus and it says, ho, ho, ho. But this is perfect because all you need is a sentiment and it's in shaded spruce. It says special delivery just for you. And here it's like Santa's come into town, right? So for the kids in your life, your grandkids or your kids, you know, it still would be a great kid card. Um, but I tried to use everything except for the focal images on the outside because I was like, well, you know, I used the designer paper and tried to pull it together to make it look Christmassy, but yet it would be very appealing to everybody because, well, all you need is a sentiment in green, right? Okay. So I was trying to be very universal with this one. Um, so that one, good set for little, it is a great set for little ones. So that's what I think I struggle with it. <laughs> so, but I, that's where that one got used. And then the last card is the mistletoe magic. Um, and so on this one, um, I featured, actually it's Santa Express paper here, I think. Um, a sentiment you'll need here in Cherry Cobbler. The little background boughs are die cut. You could just got the set for your grandson. There you go. I figured people would be getting the Santa delivery. Um, so it's perfect if you can stamp that on the inside. It would work, definitely, it'll work. Um, oh, and Hildy agrees with me on the Santa delivery. So good, I try to make it universal. Um, so on this one though, I did use this focal image and it's you're gonna get a white piece of paper for those doing the online version with me. If you don't have this exact um, mistletoe, <clears throat> you could even take that off and it looks cool with just the greenery underneath and the gold bow. Um, or maybe you have a different something that you could stamp to make it look like foliage coming down. Um, Forever Flourishing maybe, or Forever Fern has some ferny things that you could do. Um, it's Shaded Spruce Cherry Cobbler are what I colored with the blends, but um, sorry, there's a big glare going. Um, so yeah, and on the inside then on this guy, I just have a sentiment. I just, it's naked to me. It's naked. So I got to get, you know, something's got to go in there. Like this little dude has to be hanging. So, but yes. So that is October's monthly class. You guys, this is not only a September showcase, but this is, wow, this is me working ahead and getting a whole bunch done. Like these are all cards for upcoming classes, you guys. Um, and then just to sneaky peeky, these are some monthly class cards for um, December and no, actually, these are November. So these are what I have coming up for November. So super cool. I didn't bring the stamps, but this is the Scottish Terrier one, Christmas Scotty. You only need a sentiment. This one, you only will need sentiments for the inside. It's the Regal Reindeer. And then this one's all spruced up. You just need a sentiment. So that's November's. You guys, I got November's monthly class done already. Woo, 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 woo. Yay. So this is all I've got ready for you guys over the next, like, it's like a little package of cards. So the next three months, um, locked and loaded, you guys. Whew. Okay. I didn't know this was going to take an hour and a half, but it got close to an hour and a half. So I appreciate you guys watching this whole hour and a half of what fantastic stuff we have coming up for you next month and October and November. So, um, um, uh, as I get more stuff designed, I'll be doing more sneaky peeks. Um, yeah. So no Hilda, no. I think that's about half the cards for the rest of the year. Not all, because I have ink, paper, scissors for October, November, and December design. I have the sweet bundle for October, November, and December design. We have a stamp a stack. We have a card buffet. We have a Halloween bingo. We have um, December monthly and um, 
memories and more. There's a Santa Express memories and more. So just in all of that, that's about the equivalent to what's done. So I still have a lot of designing to do, but I'm so happy that I am as far ahead as I am so that you guys can see the stuff and get things on your calendar. So thanks, Gail. So many beautiful cards. And so it was awesome. Like I, I don't make all these all by myself. I was on the phone with Carissa this weekend. I'm like, what would you do with this? And what color here? And it, it takes like an army to make this happen. <laughs> so, um, so there's, there's a lot done. Oh, Woo, Doris, thank you. Okay, and the benefit. Yes, you guys, we talked about it. There's a card making benefit on World Card Making Day, which actually is October 1st. Cheryl Taylor and I work on designing those cards. Oh, and there's fun folds, right, Hildy? Yes. So benefit is October 1st. I have two of you already signed up for it. I think I got Doris and Sarah on the list already. If you guys want to sign up for the benefit, it's um, $30 for a donation, includes mailing, $5 for mailing. And you'll get five handmade cards already done. Um, if you want to attend in person, it's a $25 donation and then you come and make your cards in person. Um, and the other one is fun folds. Yes, Hildy, you're right. In October, I have a fun folds. Um, so Patsy, the memories and more, if you go onto my paper schedule, uh, the memories and more is listed as extras in November. It has it on here. Memories and more product based class. Um, I think it's November 2nd and November 3rd. Uh, if my sheet, my sheet was printed June 20th. So um, I think that's when that is. So the first week in November. Oh, and the retro. <laughs> oh, I didn't talk about it yet, Judy Bobo. You guys are so on it. So, okay. Hi, Jessica Rodriguez from Kansas. Um, so Judy Bobo, good call. Whoop, whoop. Um, the Radically Retro Swap Party is October 16th. If you receive emails from me, you would have received an email about it this weekend. I think I scheduled it for noon on Saturday. And it is a swap where you use all retired Stampin' Up! products. Unless you don't have current, like current cardstock and current ink colors are okay. But you would use retired Stampin' Up! stamps, retired Stampin' Up! designer paper, retired Stampin' Up! embellishments, retired Stampin' Up! ribbon. It doesn't, if it's 20 years old or if it's one or two years old, it has to be retired. It's a radically retro. We, you know, so Lisa Piper and Bonnie L'Esperance came up with this idea last year because it's like stuff goes and then it retires, you know, comes and then it goes and then it comes and it goes. And it's like everybody buys these stamp sets that you're like, oh, I want to make this. And if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that or an avid customer that you always buy new stuff, you don't get around to using something of the past. This is an excuse for you to use that retired stamp set that is sitting on your shelf that you've never even put together and you've desired to do that. We'll pull it out, design a card, and we have, I think, 21 people signed up at the moment, of which about five of them said they would do multiple groups. So basically, I think we'll end up with either two or three groups and so like, let's say I want to do all the groups. I would be in groups one, two, and three. Like Jean Maxwell wants to be in all the groups. She'd be in one, two, and three. Bonnie would be in one, two, and three. And then what I'll do, so I know like everybody who wants to do multiples will get put in each group. And then let's say the first group needs 15 more people. I would take the first, like the next 15 people who signed up and put them in group one. And then I would take the next group of people to complete group two. And then we'll see once where group three ends up at. So, um, so Hildy, the maximum you would make is 20. And until I get closer to the sign up deadline, which is September 19th, I really don't know how many it'll be exactly. Like we might get down to the group, the third group, and there might only be 18 people in that one. So you might only do 18, but I'm going to try to do full groups of 20. And again, it all depends on how many people sign up. And as it gets closer to the sign up date, you know, then we'll know more. But like right now I have like six people who want to be in all groups. And I think if I had to guess or forecast, I think I'd have three groups. So if you are wanting to do all the groups, you would have to make three different cards. Let's say we end up with three groups. I would have to design a card for one group using one stamp set and paper and embellishments and ribbon. I'd have to design a second card for the second group and then a third card, all completely different. Um, and all the cards within a group, Hildy, need to be the same. So um, if you guys, I might just tell you a little bit. I'm like, oh shoot, I made a really cool 50th wedding anniversary card for my parents in June and I showed it and I'm like, oh, 
that could be my radically retro swap because I've already got it designed. I would just make sure I use only retired embellishments on it and retired ribbon. And I would make 20 of that exact card, right? And then I would have to make a second card using something else completely different, right? Um, no, you're not gonna make 21 more or less one card. You're gonna, you're gonna make 20 cards pretty much. And honestly, you are gonna have to wait till I have the deadline because maybe that third group might only have 18. Or, you know, maybe it comes out that, oh, if we just had one more in this group and I'd have to reach out to everybody in the group and say, so you're planning for 20 is what's happening. And I'm hopeful that it comes out like good, that I don't have to, a lot of finagling to do. Um, so, and if you want to start working them on them now, like Jean Maxwell's already got one of her groups done already, just plan to make 20. And that's how it's we're going to plan for. It just comes down to people who sign up towards the end. I, I might have that group be more because if you're signing up at the end, you won't have made your cards yet. So, um, so yes, the question came up though, like I'm making 20 cards. I only have this designer paper. You can't buy it anymore. Am I allowed to do the same layout using two different patterns of paper and it being a different color palette, but the same card? And I said, yes, in a nutshell, your card is going out to 20 different people. They will not know that one person's card got this color and one person's card got this color. You can't make two different designs within the same group, right? You have to make the same layout and just change the color palette. So um, it, I got it. And yes, it will depend on how many in each group. Yep, perfect, Judy Bobo. You got it. So um, you guys, there is a link. Um, if you did not get an email from me this weekend, so that means you're not in my email group, um, what you want to do is send me an email, say you'd like information about the Radically Retro Swap. But if you don't get emails from me, you guys, this is what you need to do. You need to go onto my website and go here, sign up for my emails, put your email address in here and sign up. And then what happens is you'll get an email, um, sign me in. So Hildy, I need you to go sign up. It is a Google sign up sheet. Um, and Hildy, if you didn't get the email from me this weekend, that might mean you're not getting emails from me. But you guys, to keep it simple and for me not to have to keep track of another piece of paper, I created a Google sign up sheet. And all you do is you click on the link in the email that I sent this past weekend. So let's say you didn't get the email on Saturday. I'll forward you the email. So email me and I will send you an email with the link. All you do is you click on it. Hi, mom, I'm live. Is that mama? Okay, that's okay. You want to say hi? You're live? I'm live. I'm doing a quick live. My mom's here, guys. You, she doesn't like to be on camera, but you want to say hi to everybody? Sure. Here's mama. So, hi. you guys, some of you haven't met my mom before, but this is my mom, Janet. You got to sneak in a little bit more. They only see half of you. There you go. Nope, other way. There it is. There's mom. Just wave. Hi. <laughs> mom's here to help me um, work on some stuff. <laughs> so, all right. That's good, thanks. <laughs> so everybody likes all your cookies that you make. So, <laughs> so um, if you guys need the email, reach out to me via email so I can send you the email from Saturday and then also get signed up. Um, Linda Kester says hi. Um, so I can get you guys the email so you can go and sign up. And so what can happen is I can go into the Excel spreadsheet on the back end to see everybody. So Cindy Runtree says, thanks for all you do for us, mom. <laughs> Melanie Foy says hi, super cook. Um, <laughs> everybody's saying hi, mom. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I, I trying to keep it as easy as possible for um, the sign up process that I don't have to keep track of it manually. So I know one person was not able to sign up because they had issues, whatever. I can go in and manually add something, but I don't really want to do that, you guys. So I really need for you to go into the email that I forward to you or send to you and you click the here button and just sign up. So, all right. Oh, okay. I'm creator of the MasterCard creator. Yes, Penny Ball. So my mom is the master chef. Like she's a baker, candlestick maker. No, she's not a candlestick maker, but that was like the children's rhyme thing. My mom is a great cook. Um, she is fabulous at making things and she can just whip things up so fast. I have no idea how she can just boom, 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 done. And I'm like, she's a magician with food. So <laughs> I did eat good as a child. <laughs> so, all right. Now did I forget anything, you guys? You guys are so good about helping me remember everything. The radically retro thing is not on the, the schedule. I should put it under others in um, 
um, extras in September. I should do that. So, all right, you guys, again, if you need help, I'm always here to help, right? I, I like for you guys to figure out as much as you can beforehand. Look for it in the obvious places like my website or Facebook. Um, can I post? Yeah, Jean, it is. So the Radically Retro Swap Party is on my website. Go to September 16th, and in that event is the sign-up link. So let's look at it. I'll show you really quick. So let, oh, that's not exactly where I want to go. Let's go back to events just to show you guys. Oh, where do I have events? Right here, events. If you go to September 16th, oh, wait, September, when is this? Hang on. It's October. Sorry. October 16th. Um, I had the wrong month, you guys. It is October 16th. It's Radically Retro Swap Party. So if you didn't have an email from me, you uh, can get it from right here. So you go into my website, Radically Retro Swap Party, 2 to 4 p.m. And I've seen, I sent you a private message. Perfect. Sorry, Penny, you sent a mad face. It's okay. I know that you didn't mean to. Wow, this is really going slow. So let's click again. Um, you guys go here, Radically Retro. I should join. I made a card for a grandson where he was 15. He is now 31. I give, I give him the same card every year with fresh money, of course. It's so funny. Yes, my mom sends me the same birthday card. Sorry, whoever's calling me. But um, so if you go in here under Radically Retro, um, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down to number six. You see it? It says RSVP by clicking here. You see that word here? Boom. Here's the form. Ah, go away. I, no, I can't. There it is. Radically Retro Swap Sign Up Form. You put your email in, put your name, last name. Are you attending via Zoom or in person? Um, your phone number, your complete mailing address. Do you want one group or multiple groups? And you understand that they need to be received by October 13, blah, 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 blah. So that's it. And hit submit. And then what happens is I will see that you signed up and then come closer to the deadline, I can figure out how many groups we need. So, uh, Doris, I'm glad that helping see the showcase helps you see what's coming up. Oh, so my mom sends me the same Pac-Man card for my birthday every year for how many years? Five or six years now? It's, of course, got different money in it too, <laughs> like you're Linda. So, all right. That's my mom's cell phone, so we're all good. All right, so, yeah, so Jean Maxwell, thanks for that note. Um, Feline Mays did ask me... Um, does is the record is the zoom going to be recorded i have to figure out how i want to do that um i don't know about recording the zoom because if i do i have to i think upload it to youtube and make it private because i don't want everybody and their mother or brother or sister or husband seeing it so i would probably make it as a private youtube video and those who participate would have access to the link i think is how i would can see doing that so if, I, if it means somebody will sign up by making the video and available to see afterwards, then I might figure that out even more. So I don't, but if it doesn't make a difference to people, if it's recorded or not, then I might not go through the effort. So it just depends if it's worth it or not, right? Okay. Perfect. Hi, Char, listen. So we're winding down, you guys. I've dropped down from 55 people to 36. So you're leaving me. You're dropping like flies. So I'm going to say sunshine, love, and hugs to you. And I will not see you live for a while because Kelly's got Thursday night. I'm going to do a recording for Tip Tuesday next week. And um, I'll see you next Thursday. So September 1st, you guys. So lots of sunshine, love, and hugs to you again. Um, be safe. Have fun. Stamp a lot. <laughs> do happy things. <laughs> love you. Bye.